emotional chord with Blornage at the Eastern Auditions. I have to cross. At the moment, I'm listening to a lot of Luke Kelly, and it just reminds me of my father so much because I lost him last year, and I'm just kind of going, oh my God. You will be representing the East. What? What? <laughs> what? Are you serious? I was such a shock. It was, it was actually just delighted. I think we just went for a bit crack, really. Like, I never thought we'd get this far. Yahoo! We live in Castletown Gagan, a small little village, and it's the best village in County Westmeath. Great, close-knit community. Everybody would be proud of us. Westmeath have never won All-Ireland, but that's all about to change when Niall and Catherine bring home the All-Ireland talent. He was always the entertainer, and Niall was entertaining by being Garth Brooks. That was the start of his music career. She was only about five or six. I just heard her one day. I was doing something in the kitchen, and suddenly I realised she was singing. He asked me, uh, to start a little band. Oh, her singing voice is unbelievable. Knowing that I've got you, there's only us when the lights go I didn't think to be anyone else better than her in the country. When Catherine and I walk out on that stage, you won't find four more prouder parents in the whole of Ireland. Yeah, he's just, he's a great kid. And um, <laughs> he makes me cry a lot. <laughs> if we won the All Ireland Talent Show, the people Westmead and surrounding areas would just be so proud of us. It would be like coming home at the summer day. Catherine and Niall sing an emotional Thomas Luke Kelly classic. Neighbours rally round the Mead. Offaly, Leish, Leinster, please show your strength. A Rune Yushka could give fault to Aunt Special through Catherine Agus Niall. Okay, Shane, I'm coming to you first. Very simple, a boy and a girl, a guitar and a voice. What did you think? Um, I, I think you are a bit scared now in the beginning, but nice to see you relax towards the end and put the smile on and, and get into the song, but what a powerful voice. Mm. Super. Well done. I suppose it is worth saying most of the people on the stage here throughout the series have never been on TV before, have never certainly been on live TV or a stage of this nature. So it's, it's no joke to come up here. Some, some of us struggle with it more than others. Absolutely, yeah. I think she did great. Diana, you were quite critical of some of the singers last week, over-tuning, over-selling. What did you feel this evening? 
Well, I was relieved to see you were chosen to go through because I thought Blonda wouldn't choose you because last year my beautiful little Neve, a traditional singer, wasn't chosen, wasn't, in fact, was penalised because she accompanied herself with a guitar. So I'm, I was glad to see that you put them through. You have a beautiful voice. When you're singing, imagine you're talking like a conversation so you won't hold your hands in front of you, which is nerves. Mm. You know, just like you're using a conversation. And remember that you're an integral part of this act. It was nice to see you looking out and engaging. OK, right. but we have to move on. Time is running out. Gawhi, a classic. We all know the words. Did they make it their own? Yeah, uh, Catherine, there's a, there's a great rawness to your voice. Mm. It kind of reminds me of a, maybe a street ball balladeer, but more polished. Uh, I'd agree with Shane. A small bit nervous at the beginning, that's mm. fine. And again with Dana, just to kind of embrace the crowd. But fantastic. And Neil, you actually enjoyed yourself anyway. You had the best seat in the house up there. <laughs> Quickly, John, did you enjoy it? Shy girl. No gimmicks, no choreography. The hands were probably a uh, machinist thing. Um, for power and clarity, that was the pure drop, and it nearly knocked me off my seat. Blonage, we all saw the effect that Catherine and I had, you, had, on, had you, on you in the auditions. What did you feel this evening? Well, Catherine is only 16, you know. She nearly made me cry again, because I don't mean that to sound in any way patronly, but you're only 16, and to come out here and sing like that, mm. and I was so worried about you, as you know, because I knew you were nervous, but I'm so proud. Okay. Uh, she's emotional again. OK, judges, your scores for Catherine and I, please. John Creedon. Nine. Shane Lynch. Also annoying. Dana. I'm going to give you a good eight. Dahi O'Shea. It's an eight for me as well. No problem smiling now. It's a total of 34 out of 40 for Catherine and I, taking them right to the top of the leaderboard. If you want to see them in the semi-finals, then you can vote for them. Remember, you make up half of their overall...